In this special, we're not just adding an extra day to our calendars, we're also shedding light on the cultural myths that have long surrounded leap years. As we embrace the digital age, it's time to demystify these ancient beliefs and explore how technology is changing our perceptions. So, leap forward with us into a world where myths are just a click away from being busted, right here in the leap year of 2024. The Six Leap Year Myths Women Proposing to Men Ah, the Leap Day Proposal Tradition this quirky custom hails from Irish folklore, where St. Brigid supposedly struck a deal with St. Patrick to allow women to propose to men every four years on February 29th. This was seen as a chance to balance the traditional roles of men and women in a similar way to how Leap Day balances the calendar. Imagine the scene, a hopeful woman, down on one knee, holding out a clado ring, a traditional Irish ring representing love, loyalty and friendship to her bewildered beau. She's waited four long years for this moment, all thanks to St. Bridget's negotiation skills. But here's the twist. In the modern era, anyone can propose to anyone on any day of the year. The calendar doesn't get to dictate when love pops the question. So, whether it's a sunny day in July or a snowy day in December, feel free to take the plunge. And for those who are sticklers for tradition and want to wait for the next leap day to propose, remember this. You've got a four-year head, start to plan the perfect proposal. No pressure. So, while the leap day proposal tradition is a fun piece of folklore, it's important to remember that when it comes to love and marriage, every day is a good day to take the leap. Leap day is a free day. Ah, uh, the myth of the free day. This belief is as elusive as the day itself, appearing only once every four years. The idea is that February 29th, being an extra day, is somehow a bonus, a day off from the universe, if you will. Some folks like to think of it as a free day, a bonus 24 hours, a day when you can just kick back, relax, and let the world go by. Sounds pretty great, doesn't it? But here's the kicker. Life goes on as usual on leap day. If it's a weekday, you're still heading to work or school. Those emails aren't going to answer themselves, and your math teacher isn't about to cancel that test because the calendar's thrown in an extra day. Historically, leap day hasn't been a day off either. And in places like Anthony, Texas, they throw a huge festival every four years on leap day. So, while it might not be the free day some people imagine, Leap Day is still pretty special. It's a day that only comes around every four years, so why not make the most of it? Try something new, spend time with loved ones, or just take a moment to appreciate the quirky way we humans keep track of time. Leap Year Birthdays Are Unlucky The Curious Case of Leap Day Birthdays Now, some folks might tell you that being born on February 29th also known as being a leaping, brings bad luck. This belief pops up in various cultures, kind of like an old wives' tale that's been passed down through generations. Picture this, you're at a party and someone asks when your birthday is. February 29th, you reply. Suddenly, there's a gasp, a drop glass, maybe even a fainting ant in the corner. Unlucky, they cry. But is it really? Here's the thing. There's absolutely no scientific evidence to back up this claim. Being born on leap day doesn't affect your luck, your personality, or your future prospects. It just means you have a great conversation starter and a birthday that's even more unique. In fact, many leaplings take pride in their rare birthdays. They get to celebrate their real birthday every four years with much fanfare and on non-leap years, they can choose to celebrate on February 28th or March 1st. Talk about having your cake and eating it too. So, if you're a leapling, wear that title with pride. And if you meet a leapling, wish them a happy birthday. After all, their special day only comes around every four years. Every year divisible by four is a leap year. The Leap Year Conundrum Now, you might have heard that every year divisible by four is a leap year. Sounds simple, right? 
But hold on to your hats, because here's where it gets a bit tricky. Picture this. You're sitting in a trivia night, and the question pops up. Is the year 2100 a leap year? You quickly do the math. 2100 divided by 4 equals 525 with no remainder. So, it must be a leap year, right? But alas, you'd be caught in a leap year trap. Here's the catch. While most leap years are indeed divisible by 4, there's an exception to the rule. Any year that's divisible by 100 is not a leap year, unless it's also divisible by 400. So, the year 2100? Sorry, but that's a regular old year. But the year 2000 was a leap year, because 2000 is divisible by 400. Why all these rules? Well, it's all about keeping our calendar year in sync with the solar year. You see, a solar year, the time it takes Earth to orbit the Sun, is about 365.2425 days. By adding an extra day every four years, we account for those extra 0.2425 days. But that system overcorrects the length of the year by adding too many leap years, so we skip the leap year if the year is divisible by 100. But then, that system undercorrects it, so we add the leap year back in if the year is divisible by 400. So, next time you're pondering the mysteries of the Gregorian calendar or trying to win trivia night, remember this quirky rule. Leap years are bad for livestock. The leap year and its supposed effect on livestock. Now, if you've ever found yourself in the rolling hills of Scotland, you might have heard the old saying, leap year was never a good sheep year. It's a catchy phrase, isn't it? But what does it really mean? Picture this, you're a shepherd in the Scottish Highlands. It's a leap year and you've heard the old saying. You look out over your flock, wondering if the extra day in February will bring bad luck to your woolly charges. The saying suggests that leap years bring bad fortune for sheep and, by extension, the farmers who care for them. Maybe it means less wool production, or perhaps it hints at health issues within the flock. The specifics aren't clear, but the message is, leap years and livestock don't mix. But here's the reality check. There's absolutely no scientific evidence to back up this claim. The health and well-being of livestock are influenced by many factors, like their diet, the weather, and veterinary care. The addition of an extra day in February has no impact on these factors. So, while it might make for a good story around the fireplace, the saying is just a piece of folklore. If you're a farmer, rest assured that your livestock will be just fine in a leap year. And if you're a sheep, well, keep on grazing, leap year or not. The leap year and its unexpected role in computing and programming. Now, you might think that leap years are just about keeping our calendar in sync with Earth's revolutions around the sun. But, surprise, they have a sneaky little role in the world of technology too. Picture this, you're working on a spreadsheet in Microsoft Excel, inputting dates from the early 1900s. You type in February 28th, 1900, and then add one day. You'd expect to see March 1st, 1900 pop up, right? But lo and behold, Excel gives you February 29th, 1900. Wait a minute, 1900 wasn't a leap year. Here's the scoop. When Lotus 123, the leading spreadsheet application at the time, was first released, it treated 1900 as a leap year to make handling leap years easier. When Microsoft developed Excel, they decided to maintain this quirk to ensure compatibility with Lotus January 2nd, 31. This made it easier for users to switch between the two programs. So, while it might seem like a mistake, it was actually a deliberate choice by Microsoft to prioritize compatibility over absolute accuracy. And let's be honest, unless you're a historian or a time traveler, this little quirk is unlikely to affect your day-to-day -day spreadsheet needs. So there you have it, a fun little tidbit about leap years and how they've leaped their way into the world of computing. Just another reason why leap years are more than just an extra day in February.